Hey guys, I am here for an indeterminate amount of time. Um, we're just gonna play receiver, <laughs> by the by. All right, so this game has been out. It's kind of like, a, it's still like an unfinished little pet project that this other bigger studio is doing too. I'll go into that in a little bit. But uh, what you're gonna see is me, in the upper right hand corner, you can see I'm trying to get these tapes around this area and there are these robots pretty simple stuff but what you'll see let me get into some light what you'll see is that if I open up this little help menu oh and there goes my uh, you know what? I'm going to turn you down what you're going to see is that I can control literally everything about this gun and it's kind of uh, terrifying. So look at these. Uh, let me hold this down. So these are the options I have for making changes. Um, see, it's if I wanted to expand. Uh, wait, what was it? If I wanted to ditch everything in the gun. I tap this button and I pick up. I pick up with this. So my current bullets are up there. And to load the gun, I have to individually tap C until that happens. And I can spin that. That's some school, right? And then I R. And if I hold, uh, what was it? Was I hold T? F. Is it F? Oh, wait, no. Is it already pulled back? Oh, yeah, the hammer's already pulled back. So that's important if you don't know how guns work. Okay. So, so basically, you get a gun that you manually reload and you manually operate through a very, very complicated set of, set of instructions. I'm going to close those because I'm pretty used to it by now. Well, what I've been really... Oh, see, there he is. And uh, so you got to... You make it around these place. There's a there's a little story that comes out through these. Oh, okay, so that way. Okay. All right. So they will tease you, and you go down. You can also run. Um, running is kind of complicated too, because <laughs> you just kind of tap W to to sprint faster. Oh. Hey, bro. Whew, okay. Those guys kill you pretty quickly. So. Uh, so now, I don't know if you can see, because I can't see yet. There. So I have, I have two bullets expended, and I guess I just kind of have to keep track of that. I've never... they uh, You randomly spawn with a number of different guns, so the revolver is just one option. There you are. Uh, pap! Oh. Kind of bugs out. Oh. oh, and so what we're looking for are these little stashes where I can get a flashlight, put that away. And when I'm using the rollover I'll usually I'll usually dump these out after a few tries and pick up the bullets that I haven't done yet and just reload the gun. So in a normal game where you would normally just tap, you know, the R key, like a sane person, to actually get get shit done. No, you gotta it's incredibly tedious and I'm not even sure if it's really fun, but I keep coming back to it because I've never gotten all 11 tapes. And I'm going to try to. I think the highest I've ever gotten was 8. And then, oh, some cheap-ass robot came up and... Oh-ho. No! Mm. Mm. Yeah. So... That happens very frequently. Oh, okay. Oh, so cool. We got another gun. Um, let's see. They usually don't spawn me in a room with robots immediately. All right. Um, sorry. I'm actually trying to remember how to use this gun. The guns are kind of different. There you go. You have to holster your gun to load bullets into magazines when you do get them. So that's cool. Um, uh, let's see. There. There we go. Alright. Uh, this gun's a little weird. Let's, so let's get this one. That one's, that one looks good. And if you pull it back, you can see if there's a bullet loaded, but if not, you can pull back the slide manually. Uh, I just got an extra one. Uh, so yeah. So this gun's kind of cool. It, if I if I hit the V key, it goes between like a semi-automatic, just like one bullet at a time. I'm not going to shoot it right now because I run out of bullets really quickly in this game. Uh, or like a f 
full auto fire, which I don't even know if that's a thing that can actually work with guns. I'm actually not that uh, not that much of a gun enthusiast, so I don't know. I only know what video games have taught me. Like, okay, um, so that's a that's a little turret, and those are really hard to. If you do it right, you can take them down in a single shot, which is really great. But if you don't do it right, you have to hit them full of bullets. Just full of bullets. There you go. I don't know, like, what this is. I'm, it's it's just all kind of low poly, and I, I thought it was really cool. So let's see. Oh, I don't have a flashlight anymore, so I can't see dark things. Check your corners. Ha ha ha, yeah. Uh, no. Damn it. Okay, put you there, put you there, there you go. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's because when you actually, um, it's right click to actually aim the gun when normally you're just kind of walking around like this. But you can look down and you can still see your gun that's just like sitting right there. But then you pull it up and it's like, whew. Damn it. I'll take a sip of coffee, sorry. Right, so this one doesn't have too many bullets, and this one is okay. All right, usually when I go inside like this, I turn on the automatic, just so I'm not uh, surprised. Yep. Okay. Nah. Okay. Uh, they're, they are really dangerous, actually, because, um, they can hit you maybe one or two times, so if you get shot, like, one or two times, you will die. You will go down. You're very top of me. Um... No, damn it. It's almost like the game is not... The game is not meant to be easy to play. I think is kind of troubling, but it's still fun when you get it all, like, when you see a robot, unload your gun, fill it with bullets, load it manually, pull back the slide, and, like, actually don't die, is it? Am I stuck? Am I stuck here? Game is garbage. Game of the year. Zero to ten. Ten out of ten. I don't know. This game is garbage. Uh, hold on. How do I? <laughs> uh, flash <pleasure. laughs> Why? Why am I stuck here? Uh. All right. That was a good run, sorta. Of. I found a tape. I just didn't get to hear it. Oh, now I got the revolver again. Um. The revolver is not my favorite. Neither is that other gun, actually, but it's the one I get the most. Uh, there's a third one that, if I live long enough, will actually end up seeing. So let me make sure this gets adjusted. Alright. Didn't go into it. Didn't actually do any research going into it, so there we go. What is it? Is it F? Is the slide already? Yeah, it is. Okay. Because the other thing, you can pull the hammer... Shit. Shit. God damn it. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Nah. So basically... Hmm... <sighs> Almost. Usually they go down in one shot too, but they can be. Ah! Mm. They can be persistent. Mm. Run out of bullets here. Get out of there. Yeah, so it's. It's intentionally just trying to make you fumble. And I guess it. If you really want to be honest about it, like. 
my reactions in this game are pretty honest. Like, if I actually had just a fistful of bullets and a gun that, like, didn't cooperate or didn't do the things that I wanted it to do, like, that would be very frustrating and I'd probably die. Shit. Shit. Fuck. And I'd probably just shoot all my bullets out, and then I'd probably have to run away. Oh, don't don't fall. Get out. Yeah, so this is this is probably most accurately. Like if I had an infinite reviving lives, maybe after many, many tries, I'd be able to finally overcome this these robot dicks. But certainly not as I am now. When it comes to these flying ones, I use way too many bullets. The turrets are easy to counteract, but these guys are just so not. Where's that other one? I hear it. Oh god! Alright. Actually, it's really hard to see. Two... I, I thought that would work, but that totally didn't. It didn't react for like a fraction of a second, so I thought it wasn't going to kill me. It did. <sighs> I'm getting sick of this gun. I hear that little damn robot too. So like I said, this story is kind of... I think this is like an idea. Uh... Huh, well done. Uh, yeah, this story is kind of like, it's supposed to be disjointed. I think this game is still currently in like, well, it's obviously in some kind of state of production. Like, it's still under development. But this was like a side project from a studio called Wolffire Games, and they're currently making, they're currently making a game called Overgrowth, which looks really good, and I would actually like to, like, point to their dev page in the description for this video because that game also looks really, really involved, but really fun. This one seems to be more painful, but on purpose. Wait, did I... No, I came this way, okay. Oh no, they just make you want to jump for j jump for it. I could go downstairs. Also, I could... <laughs> Actually, if I jump that, I'm gonna get taken down by that turret. Is that... Oh, it's a tape. Okay, good. Alright, so... The tapes are kind of weird. Let me see if I can... You are listening to the first tape of the Perpetual set. This set of tapes represents the most critical receivings so that future humans will have the information they will need after the mind kill. <laughs> this set, when listened to sufficiently yeah. and in its entirety has been speculated to be the minimum teachings needed to achieve an awake state. Besides this tape, the tapes included in this set are so. Firearm Operation Initiation Tape A Mind Tech Reality B Mind Tech Clear Tape clear out this room here. Mind Kill Contingency uh, Yeah, let's stop that. So, basically... It's some kind of it's some kind of dystopia where you are like some kind of gun ninja, and these robots are just they're mm, they're here to kill you. Okay, there we go. They beep twice when they turn around, which is a very useful feature. They really should take that out because otherwise I wouldn't know when they turn around. Uh, oh god, these robots. the beans. Something broke. Did I take out the other robot behind it? What is happening? That I think I was completely out. I counted six that time. So that's what, that's what I end up doing. I end up counting my bullets. Like, Okay, I think that one's disabled now. Oh, come on. 
you hit it right when it turns around, it just completely kills it. You can disable pieces of them. So I think I think I shot this box up here. See what that like little um, that tag is. So it's spinning, but it can't see me. It could still kill me if it just just started randomly shooting, but I don't think it will. Ah oh, man. So you really gotta check everything. Didn't count that time. Alright, see how far I can get with this run. Right. Pull the hammer back. Ugh. It's really stressful. Every room is a nightmare. Alright. And... Is... As a single bullet. So, I've never gotten 11 tapes, so I imagine you win? I hope. If... I hope you're just not stuck in this limbo forever. And that's how that usually goes. Alright, I'm done with this for now. But thank you guys for joining me. I'm going to start maybe getting something a little more realistic as far as the schedule goes. I'm still working full time, so it, I just might not be asked to. <laughs> but I'll still try to be playing some awesome... Also, you could throw your magazines on the ground for some reason. I'll still be trying to play some awesome games no matter what, so... <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'll see you guys later. This has been Mr. Fox, signing off.